Hello friends, welcome to our channel Piping Mantra. In this video, we are going to discuss about PNIDs. Now, let's start with what are symbols and different types of symbols used in PNIDs. A standard set of diagrams which shows the interconnection of process equipment and the instrumentation used to control the process. The instrumentation symbols used in these drawings are generally based on International Society of Automation standard ANSI slash ISA S5.1, ISO 14617-6 and ISO 10628. The symbols used to represent process equipment items are frequently the same as described for the process flow diagrams. These symbols are also labeled with words, letters and the numbers to further identify and specify the components that they are representing. The more pictorial style will promote greater familiarity with the equipment and the designer's objective of providing maximum information at minimum cost will be achieved. It is important to note that these symbols are not to scale and are not dimensionally accurate. Another important consideration is that the diagrams do not always represent the physical locations and proximity of each component. Some of the standard symbols used in the PNIDs are shown in the figure. The process lines are the lines where the process media actually flows through. They are represented by different types of lines as you can see on your screen, like normal pipe, thermally insulated pipe, jacketed pipe, cooled or heated pipe, and flexible pipe. On a PNID, each line will be labeled with a line number. For example, 3 inches NL 12107A 11A 1H 30. Now, each of these components or parts have their own significance in the line number. Now, there are two methods to illustrate when pipes cross on drawings but are not physically connected. These two methods are shown on your screens right now. Either use a small hump to show one going over the other or break one of the lines very near the other to show it going under it. Line break. We come across it more frequently while reading a PNID than any other thing. Now what is a line break? There is a symbol we use to represent the line break. Uh, this can be shown in three ways as shown on your screen. There is this detail where if we show the triangle, that means there is a line break. And if this symbol is shown without the small triangle, that means there is some property change like either insulation or tracing or anything else. But if this triangle is shown on the PNID, then it definitely means that there is a line number change. Both the change line numbers will be shown as well. Process lines are bolder than other lines such as those that represent electric, pneumatic or data signals. Process control systems use various types of signals to communicate information between components, instruments and the control system computers. Each type of signal has its own line type to explicitly identify the type of signal that travels along it. Like pneumatic signals, guided electromagnetic sonic or fiber optic signals, electronic or electric signals, unguided electromagnetic sonic or wireless signal, hydraulic signal, various data communication signals. This is how we show a valve connected to a pipe. This is a typical two-way valve. Likewise, there are typically three-way, four-way walls are connected as shown on your screens. These are different wall symbols. Wall representation symbols vary project to project. So it is always advisable to refer the legend sheet right before starting to work on PNIDs for better understanding. The basic fundamental representation of the walls are shown on your screens right now. Now, valve actuators are usually shown like this. We have different valve actuators like manually operated, pneumatic actuators, pneumatic actuators, rotary piston type, electrical actuators, and hydraulic actuators. Now, valve connection types. However, this is optional. In any case, we have to use project specific piping material specification for end connection of valve. But typically we use such representations to show different end connections like flanged, 
threaded welded socket welded often we see some alphabets or abbreviations are written along with these walls like no nc fo fc which stands for normally open normally close fail open fail close respectively fail open or fail close walls would open or close at a loss of signal or power these type of valve required air pressure to stay open or close cso csc car seal open and car seal close simple device is used to lock or seal the valve in open and close position to prevent unauthorized operation of valve now let's see some graphical representation used to refer various equipments like pumps and compressors you can see on your screens various pumps and compressors tanks vessels and drums the picture on your screen shows different types of tank vessels and drums refer this picture for different type of heat exchangers air coolers heaters etc the next picture shows the graphical representation of almost all other piping components used to provide adequate information of the concerned lines without having to refer a lot of individual documents please keep in mind that these are general symbols and these may vary from project to project in reality now let's talk about instruments as we already discussed previously various instrument signals are shown as follows instrumentation refers to devices that sense measure indicate transmit and or record physical properties within a system for these type of components there is a slightly different approach the components are represented by what a what is called a bubble the bubble is a simple circle square or hexagonal shape the different types with their meanings are as shown a bubble with no line means that the device and or its display are physically located in the field and if it has a display it is only readable locally a solid line in the bubble means that the display is located on a main control panel or video display and is normally accessible to the operator a dashed line in a circle means that the display is not normally accessible to the operator a double solid line in the circle means that the display is located on a secondary or local control panel that is normally accessible to the operator a double dashed line means that the display is located in a secondary control panel and is not normally accessible to the operator square bubble represent shared display a shared device either displays information from multiple instruments controlled multiple instruments or both inside the square will be either a circle or a diamond a circle represents that it is the primary choice or basic process control system a diamond represent that it is the alternate choice or safety instrumented system Hexagonal bubbles represent computer systems. Circular bubbles represent discrete instruments. This type of bubble is also used to define the function of final control elements such as valves. This is done with a call out line pointing to the symbol for the control element. The letters and numbers inside the bubble are described as tag numbers. Inside the shape there are letters and numbers used to designate the property being measured such as flow rate pressure temperature or level and the function performed with that measurement typical functions are display record transmit and control for example p is for pressure t is for temperature f is for flow and l is for level and all the other indicators controllers switch element transmit gauge and valve are typically the functions they can perform the instruments are identified up to 5 letters two are a minimum first letter is the property being measured like flow rate 
pressure, temperature and level. Second letter is a modifier like D is for differential and F is for ratio. Third letter indicates the passive or readout function like A is for alarm, R is for record, I is for indicator and G is for gauge. Fourth letter is for active or output function like C is for controller, T is for transmit, S is for switch, V is for valve. Fifth is the function modifier like H is for high, L is for low, O is for open, C is for closed. We can simply omit these if no modifiers apply. The first pane ID in the project should contain a legend defining all symbols used. If certain symbols are defined elsewhere, it may be appropriate to only refer their source. So that is it guys. This is all for this video. Please do like share and comment if you have any queries on this topic or any other topic please drop your query in the comments section below i hope you like this stay tuned for the next video thank you